Hello, this is Gary. I wanted to show you how to my technique in soldering RGB light strips together. This is my project where I'm trying to um, solder RGB lights on these carousel horses I use for Christmas. So I have a lot of right angles uh, in, in these horses and so it took me a while to figure out how to become sort of efficient in soldering the RGB light strips together. Uh, one thing is, is I'm not very steady with my hands, so I had to come up with a way to to hold everything down and to to solder in a very small area, since there's four soldering pads on the back of these uh, light strips. So this is my setup. I have a cookie sheet that's turned upside down that has a rim all the way around it. Um, the rim is uh, comes becomes beneficial when you um, start doing the soldering, which I'll show you in a second. The other thing I have is a 30 watt soldering iron and also very thin solder, which is 0 .032 um, 30 seconds of an inch that I got at Radio Shack. So the first thing you want to do is, is just 10 the the wires or put solder on the ends of the wires that you're planning to attach to the RGB strip. So once you tin each wire, it should like look like a solid piece of wire like this. The next thing you want to do is I use a, a clamp that doesn't have much pressure to hold the RGB strip um, down flat on the back of the cookie sheet. Then I pull back the the tape. Um, where it ex exposes the, the glue portion of the um, RGB light strip. And then you, you can see that there's uh, four pads here, soldering pads. Well, there's glue on top of these, these uh, four soldering pads. So I used a, a sharp knife to, to lightly pull the glue off the soldering, soldering pads. Try not to take the, the white areas around the... Uh, soldering pads off because uh, this is what keeps the soldering fr solder from floating from one pad to another. So this is what it looks like after it's clean. The next step is, is you want to put a dot of solder on each pad. So as you can see in this picture I have a dot of solder on each pad I have the wires uh, with solder on them, so I don't add any more solder to the to the process of putting the the wire to the RGB strip. And this is where I use the edge of the cookie sheet to to hold the the wire in place. Um, I'm not very steady, so I have to have something that holds both the wire and the um, light stri strip strip. Uh, steady for me. I also straighten the wire out to where it lines up to where I want it to line up correctly on the back of the RGB light strip as well as when I push down on the wire that there's downward force given by the wire onto the light strip so at that point all you have to do is just heat up the wire to get it to stick to the light strip and there's enough solder between the wire and the, the is on the um, RGB light strip to stick. Now if the solder doesn't stick to the to the light strip when you first put the dots on it's because you don't have all of the glue off of it. Just go back and and clean it again. Okay once they're all soldered together then you want to do a bench test to be sure that uh, each um, channel is um, connected correctly. So you put the positive, in my case, which is black on the, my red input, and then individually go in and check, uh, connect the, uh, the green, red, and blue to be sure you get green, red, blue light out of your light strip. And once you've done that, then what you want to do is put some liquid tape on it to cover the exposed wires some cases people use uh, hot glue, 
But I got the liquid tape at Walmart in the automotive department. It's around five dollars a bottle, and uh, it's in the where they have the automotive lights and connectors. So once you get the liquid tape on there and you let it dry, and then you're ready to go. Now I did this little demonstration with a iPhone app called Pixintel. So if you have an opportunity to download and purchase it for 99 cents, I'd appreciate it. Thank you very much.